Plunge into the world of personal advancement with Samson Spectrum, revealing the strength of self-enhancement, one illuminating instance at a time. Brief pause. On the agenda today. Have you ever wondered why some individuals seem to command every room they enter, while others prefer to fade into the background? There's a palpable aura that surrounds certain individuals, an invisible force that draws attention and respect. This magnetic attribute is none other than self-confidence. Self-confidence is not just about standing tall in a room full of people. It's an internal belief, a conviction in one's abilities and worth. It's the fuel that propels us forward, wind beneath our wings in both personal and professional life. It's the courage to voice your ideas, the strength to stand by your decisions, and the resilience to bounce back from setbacks. But what if you're not there yet? What if you're still a caterpillar, waiting for the right moment to transform into a butterfly? The good news is, self-confidence is not a fixed attribute. It's a quality that can be cultivated, nurtured, and enhanced. The secret that commanding presence is self-confidence, a quality that can be cultivated and enhanced. Stick around to learn how. And if you're interested in personal development, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The journey to self-confidence begins within, specifically with positive self-affirmations. Now you might be wondering, what exactly are self-affirmations? Well, they're simply positive statements that we repeat to ourselves with the aim of challenging and overcoming self-doubt and negative thoughts. These affirmations are not just wishful thinking, but they serve as reminders of our strengths, abilities, and real value. They are like the gentle whispers of a good friend reminding you of your worth when you've forgotten it. When we repeatedly tell ourselves something, we start to believe it. This is how self-affirmations work to improve self-confidence. By continuously feeding our minds with positive thoughts about ourselves, we start to alter our self-perception. It's like planting seeds of positivity in the garden of our minds. Over time, these seeds grow into strong, beautiful beliefs that enhance our self-confidence. Let's consider some examples of effective self-affirmations. Statements like, I am enough, just as I am, I believe in my skills and abilities, or I am worthy of happiness and success. These affirmations, when repeated consistently, can help to build a robust self-image that can withstand the pressures and criticisms of the world. Remember, the way you talk to yourself matters. Make it a habit to speak kindly and positively to yourself. After all, self-confidence is not just about how others see you, but more importantly, it's about how you see yourself. Next up on our confidence-building journey is goal setting. Now you might be wondering, what do goals have to do with confidence? Well, think about the last time you set a goal and achieved it. Remember that feeling of accomplishment? That's what we're aiming for. Goals, both big and small, give us a sense of direction and purpose. They provide a roadmap for our actions, decisions, and behaviors. When we set achievable goals and work towards them, we're essentially giving ourselves a challenge, and there's nothing like overcoming a challenge to boost our self-confidence. So how do we set these goals? Begin with something small, yet meaningful. Maybe it's reading a book a month, going for a daily walk, or even learning a new skill. The key is to make it achievable and measurable. This way you can track your progress and celebrate your victories, no matter how small they may seem. Remember, it's not about the size of the goal, but the effort you put in to achieve it. Each goal is a stepping stone, a little victory that reaffirms your abilities and boosts your confidence. And as you achieve more and more, you'll find your self-confidence growing. It's like a snowball effect. The more you achieve, the more confident you become. So start setting those goals, start achieving, and watch as your self-confidence soars. Every goal you achieve, no matter how small, is a step closer to a more confident you. Now, let's tackle a concept that might seem counterintuitive. Embracing failure. Failure, my friends, isn't something to be feared. It's not a dark nemesis waiting to pounce, but rather a teacher, a guide, a mentor. It's a part of life as fundamental as breathing, and it's through failure that we truly grow and evolve. Imagine a world where we never fall, where we never stumble. Sounds perfect, right? But in that world, we would never learn, never improve, and never truly appreciate success. Failure isn't just inevitable, it's necessary. Consider this, 
Some of the most successful people in the world didn't reach their pinnacle without first experiencing failure. Take J.K. Rowling, for instance. Her Harry Potter manuscript was rejected by 12 publishers before it was finally accepted. Or think about Walt Disney, who was fired from a newspaper for not being creative enough. What if they had let their failures define them? The world would have been robbed of some of its greatest creative minds. The truth is, failure isn't something to be avoided or feared. It's something to be embraced. Every failure is a lesson learned, a stepping stone on the path to success. It helps us understand our weaknesses, reassess our strategies, and ultimately, build our self-confidence. So the next time you stumble, don't wallow in self-pity or let the fear of failure hold you back. Stand tall, dust yourself off, and learn from it. Remember, failure isn't the opposite of success, it's a stepping stone towards it. Have you ever considered how your body language can affect your self-confidence? Body language holds a significant role in projecting self-confidence. It's a silent communicator that can often speak louder than words. The way you carry yourself, the way you stand, sit, and walk, can all send powerful signals about your confidence level. Imagine you're walking into a room, shoulders hunched, eyes downcast. It doesn't exactly scream self-confidence, does it? Now picture the same scenario, but this time, you're standing tall, shoulders back, eyes forward. It's a completely different story. Here are some tips to improve your body language. First, maintain good posture. Stand tall and sit straight. It will not only make you look confident, but also feel confident. Second, make eye contact when you're communicating. It shows that you're engaged and assertive. Lastly, use open gestures. Crossed arms can seem defensive, while open gestures suggest a willingness to engage. Confidence isn't just felt, it's also seen. So let your body speak confidently. Finally, let's discuss the importance of your environment in boosting your self-confidence. Picture yourself as a plant needing certain conditions to thrive. Your growth, your bloom, is your self-confidence. And just as a plant needs sunlight, you need positivity to flourish. Surrounding yourself with positive influences can be a game changer. This means spending time with people who uplift you, believe in you, and see your worth. These individuals can be friends, family, or mentors who encourage your dreams and celebrate your victories. They provide the nurturing soil that helps you grow. Conversely, negative influences are like weeds, choking your growth and dampening your spirit. They might be the naysayers, the doubters, those who belittle your ambitions. It's essential to recognize these influences and distance yourself from them. Remember, you have the power to shape your environment. Choose carefully who you allow into your garden of self-confidence. Choose positivity and watch your self-confidence soar. Now that we've explored the five steps to boost self-confidence, let's circle back to its importance. The journey toward self-confidence is a journey of self-discovery. Embracing positive affirmations, setting goals, learning from failure, fine-tuning our body language, and surrounding ourselves with positivity all contribute to our self-confidence. It's this confidence that fuels our personal and professional growth. Remember, self-confidence isn't just about feeling good. It's the key to taking control of your life and steering it in the direction you want. Believe in yourself, because you are capable of incredible things. Subscribe and I'll send you a virtual cookie. Okay, you won't actually get a cookie, but think about the joy of virtually imagining one. Worth it, right?